She's sleek, she's feminine, and easy to wear. If you like short wigs, I think that you're going to love this one. In the color 5660, silver, beautifully layered boycott, beautifully styled. Let's get acquainted with Undaunted right here, right now on Silver Linings. This wig review is in partnership with The Wig Company. I want to thank The Wig Company for sending me this wig for review today. Did you know that The Wig Company has been helping people find quality and affordable alternative hair for more than 50 years? They do offer brand names such as Aesthetica and Gabor and many others, but they also offer three of their own house brands, offering believability beautiful wigs at budget-friendly prices. In a few moments, I will show you the inside of the cap, but for right now, I just wanted to show you right out of the gate this beautiful spring, summer, fall, anytime wig for anyone that's looking for a soft, short hairstyle. Now, they're Let's calling her a boy inside cut. of the cap. Love the color. A lot of white, a lot of silver, a lot of light gray. She has the felt covering at the hairline for comfort. And some hairs nicely spliced in there, which I'm sure is going to give us a very natural look. She has, of course, the open wefting all around for coolness. She has the Velcro adjusters on either side. She has the open nape with some hair nicely spliced in there at the nape of the neck. And let's see, did I cover everything open? Uh, ear tabs with the metal stays. I am feeling some permatease in here, so you should be able to get some nice lift on the top. She's affordable, under $100. She is machine made. And as I mentioned, I'll show you the cap in a little bit. And very, very light on the head. I'm looking at the specs here, and she weighs 2.7 ounces. Six, six and a half inches in the front, seven inches the crown, four and a half inches on the side, and four and a half inches on the back, and she has a two inch nape. I love this wig. I'm I'm more partial to collar length or maybe a little bit longer if you follow me you know that uh, but this one I could see me reaching for this again and again in the hot summer months months one because she's very she's very light as I just said she is 2.7 ounces I think that's what I said 2.7 yeah 2.7 ounces and I'll tell you right out of the box I just put her on my head, styled her a little bit with my comb. This is an absolute go out the door. No styling needed. Uh, let me give you a quick view at the hairline there. And you can see I've got the widow's peak. And she's pushed back just a tiny bit from my hairline. I don't think I would need anything to secure this wig. No, it stays. Anything like that. Um, she's just a put her on and go right out the door. I think that the style is very flattering, and I think that this style would be flattering on pretty much just about anyone. Um, the color, the color is, if you're into silver gray and white, this is your color. And I've said that about the last wig from the wig company as well. I have other wigs that I've reviewed that are twice as much as this wig, and I'm telling you, this one can absolutely hold a candle to those, and those are even the ones with the lace front. A lot of us like this kind of a, of, of, um, of a cap, because with the bangs, you don't really have to worry about does the hairline look natural and all of that. So honestly, you could sweep the bangs to the side. Let me get my mirror. You could sweep those bangs to the side, if you didn't want as uh, as much, let's say, of 
a heavy bang there. You, obviously, you don't have to have that. But I think that that's part of the charm of the wig. I think the way the side swept bang is just beautiful. So feminine. The fibers... Not silky, but they don't feel or look drab either. And the color is pretty true. I'm looking in my monitor, I'm looking in my mirror, and those colors look all, pretty much almost the same. So I just beautifully, beautifully, beautifully done. I can't say it enough how she feels. She's not riding up on my head. She's, she's just staying put. There's no nesting up at the top. You know how sometimes with a machine-made cap, you'll, you'll see those little nesty things up there. Do a zoom in for you there so you can see. Just a very simple, straightforward, take her out of the box, give her a shake, comb. You're out the door in less than three minutes. I'm not kidding. Once your makeup is done or not, you don't have to have any makeup on, but we always do recommend wearing makeup with a wig. And I recommend if you're if you're gray or white, you've got to have some color in your face or you're just going to you're you're going to be invisible. You're just going to you're just going to go away. So, if you're not into a whole lot of makeup like foundation, maybe just a little lip gloss, a little bit of um um mascara, but just something so that your face is going to pop out with all that white hair. She does have a bit of permatease in her, so if you wanted to just have a little bit of a, of a lift there at the crown, just pick her out a little bit. And but, Oh, she's sleek, she's feminine, and easy to wear. Well, I can honestly say that you almost don't even know that you have a wig on. Very, very easy to wear. Very easy to comb her out. Now let's see, you probably could put her a little bit behind your ear here. She's tuckable. Maybe one side, leave the other side out, or you could tuck both sides behind your ear. If you like that more of a sleek look. Personally, I prefer it like this. I think it's just beautiful, beautifully face-framed. Put her on and go, everyone. Put her on and go. Isn't that what we all love? Also, she is heat-friendly. So if you wanted to put a little bit of a wave anywhere in her, you certainly could do that. Remember, heat-friendly up to 350 degrees. Be careful with your appliances. Okay, let me just straighten this out here. I think you could make her pretty much as sleek as you wanted to. Be set those fibers free. She is not riding up on my head. My head is an average too large. She's very, very comfortable. And of course, if you do have a petite uh, head, then you could use the adjusters down at the nape of the neck. So let's see if we could put a little barrette just in the top. See how we like that. Put that in. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Undaunted by The Wig Company. This is a new company for me, and I have to say I'm very, very pleased so far. Love this. I would have to say this is probably one of my favorite short wigs now. And I'm not just saying that because they sent me this wig. If I didn't like it, if there was something I didn't like, I would absolutely tell you. But she's just so easy, so light, so pretty, so feminine. If you love short hair... I think you'll really like Undaunted. You'll be undaunted! <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, evening, weekend, month, whenever it is that you're watching this. I so appreciate you spending time with me today. And I do hope that you'll always remember to look for the silver linings because they're still there. See you next week. Bye-bye.